today I'm wearing the hat because I ain't got time. Like, I don't have time to do my hair, nor do I want to keep putting heat on my hair. Um, because, you know, um, I wear my hair naturally curly for most of the time, so I definitely don't want to damage my hair. But we about to get into this ponytail. And I'm going to class. So let me put my seatbelt on and I will talk to you all later. Bye. I made it on campus. It literally took me 10 minutes to find a parking space. And now I have to walk a mile to class because that is the life of Ashley Hicks. And the class started at 1040. It is now 1048. And so I was trying to be on time, y'all. But the way this parking is set up, I'm going to have to get here at like 10 15 to have a parking spot for my 10 40 class so y'all bear with me pray for me child because it's gonna be a long day this class literally lasts and it's like a two and a half hour class so yeah ain't nobody got time for that and i just tripped almost <laughs> Okay, so y'all, I had to come out here and throw something away. But in my group, we had to take a group quiz and we had to take an individual quiz. Yeah, I got a hundred on both. So, shout out to me. Shout out to me. <laughs> so, I just got out of class and I was talking to my friend and she's supposed to graduate in May of 2021, but she can graduate in December 2020. I was like, girl, go ahead and graduate. What's the point of waiting, you know? But our teacher let us get out of class early. We don't have class on Monday because it's MLK Day. So I'm excited. It's about to be a good little weekend. All right, y'all. So I'm cooking in my Instapot. I went ahead and seasoned with Saison, poultry seasoning, salt, pepper. And what I do is, I go ahead and put barbecue sauce in it after it's done sauteing. Um, and then I just put the pressure cooker on and it's good to go. Okay, so that needs to be put down more. So you let it saute some more. And then once it's finished sauteing, cover it with barbecue sauce and put the pressure cooker on. All right, y'all. So I am going to make some carrots as well. I'm just shredding them well not shredding them um what is this peeling them yeah i'm peeling them um so you got to give them a good rinse and then i like to do it over my strainer so the water will you know so i chop them up i'm going to put a little parsley in them olive oil mm -hmm. coming out y'all a little sea salt and I like to experiment so I'm gonna put a little garlic in there I put the olive oil in there I'm gonna let it saute for a little while then I'll put the weed on there and um, let it steam after that. They look good already. So it's sauteed a bit. If you can see, um, it's like that orange color because of the saison. Um, but that gives it a lot of flavor. So now we're going to put the barbecue sauce in there. So I'll okay. be right back. So the crab slow simmered original or the slow simmered sweet honey tastes really good for this particular recipe because I'm making like barbecue chicken in the Instapot. The um, slow simmered sweet honey I think is the one that we will use and then barbecue sauce is just like extra. If we okay need. so this is what the chicken looks like before we shred it. I've let it sit for a while on low for about 17 minutes. So good. And then I have rice boiling over there. I had cooked this rice twice and I finally caught it at the right time. It was about to burn. 
again i burnt the first batch so <laughs> i won't even show y'all that but this is how those carrots turned out they're so good looking and this rice is ready so i'm excited really to good. eat that. this what it looks like it was just shredded with a spoon so it's super easy i would say leave it in the instapot on the pressure cooker for about an hour and a half so do that 45 twice uh, do the 45 twice and look how good that looks y'all so I'll put that on top of the rice have the carrots on the side and we got to eat hey y'all so I'm sitting in the car I'm about to go do intern my internship today and we have to go to a location but I decided to do a slick back ponytail I've never done this before but I'm just totally over you know this weather humidity why my hair isn't sitting the way it's supposed to sit so currently I'm just gonna sit in the car Wait for them and do me a little eye makeup and call it a day, okay? And I'll probably watch like a YouTube video while I'm doing it because I love watching YouTube. Well, y'all, I decided to let you uh do <laughs> um the makeup with me, you know? Might as well, right? So I like to use this Brow Blade Urban Decay and I like the waterproof pencil for um my eyebrows and this is just something really quick that i like to do i'm sorry that i have y'all right there i forgot my stand but this is just something that i like to do to fill in my eyebrows and i probably won't use any concealer um with this look because i'm just trying to make it as natural as possible um, but yeah, just fill those in. I like this because somebody had used it on me um, when I got my makeup done before. And I was like, oh wow, this actually looks really good, really natural. And you can brush it to make it look like super natural. Um, this eyebrow is always so much thinner than my other one. So that's annoying. So I have to spend a little bit more like work on this one but see they're already darker already which i like and then i just take my little brush and brush it and if i was going somewhere i would definitely put concealer on but i put a little foundation on already so i'm not gonna do that and it's hot in here y'all so i'm gonna turn down my heat and now i need a little eyeshadow I like this is the NYX professional makeup um oh it's called butt naked turn the other cheek <laughs> okay I never realized that um so since I have on black today I'm gonna do like a little dark shimmer just to play off that color it's really like a dark dark brown shimmer um, but you can't tell once it's on. Let's see. Okay, there we go. And then I like to put a little gold right there. A little gold right there. And also, I don't, like, I cannot find my, um, highlighter that I've used for forever. And so what I do, um, what I like to do is use the gold that's in the palette. And I'll use that as highlight. Because that definitely helps. Y'all can't tell right now, but that thing gleaming, okay? It's gleaming. And I like to do the same thing with the actual highlight from my cheekbone as well. And some people do it like straight across. I like to do it kind of in a circular motion. So you get like the full effect. But I'm no makeup artist. This is just what I do, you know, on a regular, okay? Um, just something so I don't look so plain. Um, because I don't want to look plain. And then I'll go back in and retouch it on my nose again. Um, that same brow blade pencil, the other side is ink stain. I use that for my eyeliner. There we go, that's one. 
like I said, I'm no professional. Less two. Okay, see, just a little definition. And then if I was going somewhere, like I said, I always keep saying if I'm going somewhere. If I'm going somewhere, meaning like to a birthday party or somewhere that's going to be a lot of pictures, I do both top and bottom for the eyeliner. But we just going to use one. And then I love my e.l.f. waterproof um, length and volume mascara. It's cheap. I like cheap makeup because it's not that serious and I am on a budget as you all know. I try to keep everything as low as possible um, and then you just spread it out. If y'all put y'all makeup on a different way, that's okay. But normally I literally keep my little pouch in my car like at all times and it says bride on it. Y'all can't really tell. It says bride on it, so I've had it since I got engaged because I used the Mr. and Mrs. box. And half the time, I literally keep it in the car because I just don't have the time or the energy to do the makeup in the house because I'm probably always running late somewhere. But this time, I'm on time. And they told me to go in there and tell the people that they were running a little late. So that's good. I'm on time. So because I didn't put any eyeliner on the bottom, I will still put a little mascara on the bottom. And that's pretty much it. I just want something to liven me up, look like I'm awake. And then I spray. Um, this is Urban Decay as well, all nighter makeup setting spray. And they're here. So. I'm out of here guys, bye! So I'm at home currently waiting for the macaroni and cheese to be done. And I don't know why I be forgetting to turn this light off, but I'm sorry y'all, I just had to update you all. So I made some macaroni and cheese, about to go to a friend's house and hang out, have fun, play some games. And um, I'm excited, today was definitely a long day to say the least. Yeah, but um, I'm excited for tomorrow. It's Saturday. It's my mom's birthday. So we're going to have us a good time. It smells so good. Like, if you could smell how my house smells right now. Like, it just smells so good. And it's all crispy on the top. The edges is perfectly brown. Mmm. It's going to be so good, y'all. I think I'm real fancy now. I, I done sprinkled the parsley on it. Y'all, don't it look so good? Mmm. I can't wait to eat it, honestly. And look at it glistening on the top. Mm -hmm.